Hey everyone, Dan here. Today I'm really excited to show you what I think is the most exciting thing that we're working on right now. And that's a new feature we call Brilliance AI. A lot of us love to shoot raw photos, but when you shoot raw and you download it to your computer, it never quite looks like what you remember when you were behind the camera. And that's where raw processing comes in. You have all of those basic raw processing sliders like exposure and brightness and contrast and color. And you have to go in and know how to adjust all of those. And all of those tend to actually interact with each other. So you have to adjust things multiple times. And sometimes it's hard to know how to get those settings right. Well, with Brilliance AI, we've trained several machine learning models to take the pain out of your raw processing for you. Not only will it analyze your photo and come up with the right tone correction values, but it can also detect a color cast and remove it and do so much more. Let me give you an idea of how it works here. So here we are. I've opened a photo. This is a raw photo inside of Edit. And over on the right-hand side, just above the tone and color pane, you'll see a new pane called Brilliance AI. All I do is turn it on. Bam. Look at that. It's automatically made my photo look a million times better. And there's an amount slider right here that I can use to control how strong that adjustment is. So if I go all the way down to the bottom, that's the original photo, but I can turn it up to the default and even overdrive it to make it an even stronger adjustment. But there's more than that. Let's roll it down and look what the options are inside here. So inside, I can control the amount of tonal adjustment and the amount of color adjustment automatically. So it detected a color cast and it automatically added color correction to it. And I can dial in the amount of that color correction cast removal that I like. There's the tone on its own independent slider, so I can adjust the amount of auto tone, the amount of auto color, and these are not your grandpa's normal auto tone where every photo is trying to match to an ideal histogram. It really is based on a photo-to-photo -photo analysis done through machine learning by looking at hundreds of thousands of properly exposed photos of different subject matters and types. If you want to override the white balance adjustment, I can pick any white balance rather than the auto option. I can also use no noise AI automatically. So if it detects that it's a noisy photo, it'll apply noise reduction for it automatically. If it had prominent faces in it, it was a portrait shot, it would actually go through and retouch all the faces for me automatically. But here's the really cool part. If I look inside of local adjustments, look what it's done. It's actually identified the most common important regions in my photo and it's applied a local adjustment for them automatically. So it found the flora, all the trees, and it made an adjustment. And same thing for the sky. So watch as I wiggle, these sliders, that's the unadjusted flora. And as I adjust it, I can control how strong that adjustment is on the trees. Same thing with the sky. It's found the sky and it's darkened the sky and made it a little bit more blue. And those are easily adjusted right here. Now, if I wanted to go and make more fine-tuned adjustments on those, keep in mind, these are just local adjustments. See the little arrow right there? I click on it. It's going to jump me over to my local adjustments. There's the two local adjustments that it added, and I can fine tune the adjustments right here as well. Even adjust the masks if I wanted to. I can also add other regions. We add the most common ones automatically, but other detected regions you can manually add. So let's say I wanted to add an adjustment for the mountains as well. That will find just the mountain region and go through and sharpen them so you get more detail in Christmas in the mountains. Let's look at the before and the after here. There's before, and there's after. It's ready for me to go right into effects and do my stylization. It looks like what I saw when I was standing there at tunnel view looking at the at Yosemite. Let me show you on another photo how well this works. All right, here's the out of camera shot. Watch what happens when I turn Brilliance AI on. Bam, look at that. What a big difference between before and after. There's before and there's after. Let's take a look at what it's done. With that auto amount slider, I can control the overall amount of the adjustment again. It's automatically added portrait right here for retouching the face. So if we zoom in, you can see it's automatically found her face and retouched it. And if we look in the local adjustments, it's automatically made an adjustment for the background, for her, and for the sky. Let's look at those individually. I'm going to just jump over to my local adjustments by clicking the arrow. There's those three adjustments. I'm going to turn them off so you can see what it did. There we go. There's the original with just the auto tone and color applied and the portrait retouching applied. The sky, found the sky and darkened it. The background, darkened the background, making our subject pop off of it. And the people adjustment also enhances her a little bit so she pops off more off the background. Let's look at the before and after. Before and after. That's pretty crazy that that can all be done automatically using the power of machine learning. Let me show you one more. 
Here's a great example, a typical sunset shot where you have to expose for the sky in order to make sure you have all the detail in it, which makes your foreground pretty dark. It takes some sophisticated raw processing to make a photo like this look great. Or we just turn on Brilliance AI. And bam, you notice how the sky is maintained, but we've brought up the detail in the foreground, we found the water, and we've enhanced it. It even knows that this photo is noisy, so if you look inside of noise and sharpening, you'll notice that no noise AI is turned on. And for each of those local adjustments, I can adjust them independently. So I can control just how much darkening and enhancing we see in the sky and in the water. See how it actually finds the water and makes it more blue? Maybe I want a little less of that blue so that I can have more of the orange reflected from the sky in there. Maybe something like that. Let's look at the before and after again. Before and after. Brilliance AI is really that perfect first step in your workflow. It lets you get the photo look great, and then you're ready to go use effects or the other tools to do your stylization. So let me show you. We've taken this photo, we've made it look great, like we were standing behind the camera, like we remembered when we took the shot, but we still want to do some more work to it inside of effects. So I'm just going to go to effects. Maybe we want to add a little bit of a lens flare to it. So we'll add a sun flare. I actually want a little sun like this. Let's move it so that it's right there on our horizon. I'm going to make it much, much less though. We want it to be much smaller. Let's find one we like a little bit better. I kind of like that warm one. And let's finish it by adding a vignette. There we go. Wasn't that fun? I was able to go straight into my effects and have a lot of fun stylizing my photo without having to agonize about all those difficult raw processing sliders and adjustments. I was able to use the power of Billions AI to do all the hard work for me so I could get right to the fun part of photography. All right, there you go. That's Brilliance AI coming soon. Thanks for watching.